Hello and welcome back to Europa Navalis 4, the Burgundian Conquest. So, we are in this coalition war with Milan. We've been doing it a long time. They're low enthusiasm now. We managed to stack quite the entirety of Brunswick's army and I think it's just Milan's army left. Now all we need to do is uh, kill them. Easy, right? Yep, easy. Uh, basically, we have to siege down this province. Uh, cardinals, policies of unrest. Oh, we'll just lose the we'll just lose the cardinal. That's fine. But basically, uh, if we take down this province, we can then attack into Milan, and uh, hopefully that will mean that they'll peace out. That's the hope. No, we we don't want whatever rubbish peace they're offering here. We want an actual peace. Like we want a peace that means white peace. I don't think we're getting any land, but I think we, we can get white peace. I think that's not unrealistic. Okay, we got 7%. We're about one tick behind them consistently here. So we should go to zero here. If luck goes to our side, yeah, zero. They got 28, we should go up to 14, is it? Yep, 14. They won their siege, uh, we won't win our siege. I just want to let you know that. I mean, you might think, yeah, yeah, we'll win our siege next. No, that's not that's not the way math works. Not not in this game. In this game, it will uh, will probably just not. Anything. Our diplo um, reputation went up, though, which means that he's oh wow, the liberty desire is really high. Is that relative power? It's all relative power. Hmm, weird. I don't know why that's so high. We, we just got rid of the annexed uh, vassals penalty. I don't know why it was so low before, actually. Maybe it's because we're behind that far. Maybe they got, there are two diplotechs ahead? Nope, there's only one diplotech ahead. Oh well. Um, yeah, not much we can do about that. They're not going to declare independence while we're at war, so that's a positive. And if we can get out of war, we've got a couple of options for allies. That's the thing. We need to get out of this war soon so we can get the ally with, Pol with Poland. Admin tech? Um, yeah, we'll take it. Oh no, we're not going to take the admin tech because we want a core. Won the Siege of Luxembourg. I want to go here. We can't go here. Where's, the, where's our, that, um, our people? They're a little bit further away. Okay. We're just kind of hemming in um, Milan now. They are really low enthusiasm. I'm more stubborn than the AI though, so that's that's why I think that we'll uh, we'll win out. I also love that every time they siege one of these provinces, our rebels come and they just take the province back. It's great. It's a fun game. How far are we on the loan uh, thing? How many more loans could we take? Uh, we can have 22, so we can take 17 more loans. That's all right. 17 more loans is definitely alright. England uh, annexed that province. They've almost got uh, all of Great Britain done. We've taken two provinces, just to remind you. Uh, I don't know why Brabant thought they, their troops were safe there. That seems really short-sighted, uh, short possibly. You have a free advisor slot. Yes, I know we're losing money though. I'm trying to look at some of these, see if there's anything else we can do. We have actually gained manpower over this time. Because we are up to, like, it was negative 10,000. We've gained about 2,000 manpower over this war. Think of this just as a more active peacetime. More than war. Mercantilism or diplo power? Ooh. It also increases England's opinion, but their rival. Mercantilism. We'll get mercantilism. Okay, ignore the demands, agree to the demands. Ignore the demands probably seems like the right option. Yeah, ignore the demands. Just because we want to um, we want to keep our prestige up, because our prestige affects many different factors and it's really quite useful. I do love this. Every time they take a province, it's just we're going to take it back. Take a province, we'll take it back. Take a province, we'll take it back. No, I don't want your peace offer. Oh, we got a stability drop because of that? Oh, that's uh, that's not on. Oh well, whatever. Got some more rebels gonna spawn up? Mm, yeah, pretty much everywhere. What do they want? Local autonomy. Yeah, I'm not too bothered. Unless they're in this province. 
They're in this province and I'm bothered. They're in this province. Um. Hmm. We could knock them back with harsh treatment. Hmm. I guess we could try lowering our war exhaustion as well. Like, we can lower this once at least. And that'll lower just our unrest ever so slightly. Maybe that'll help. It'll take next month anyway. I just want our war exhaustion to be a little bit lower. Just with hung Hungary and Austria ended. Great, great. I love how they're just running away. Do they have a siege? They have a oh, they have a two siege general. That explains why they're a little bit ahead of us here. Oh, this is perfect actually. Our rebels are going to de-siege everything that they've spent ages sieging. What? What's this here? This this rebel sack is going to de-siege our capital, which will give us war score. This is very good. Uh, you can have military access. Yes, you can have military access. Definitely. Reason I'm giving everybody military access is because that allows them to come into our lands and deal with our rebels. Uh, if I wanted to go here, could I? No. Land room blocked by hostile fort. Oh well. We'll deal with it. What if I want to go here? No. Nope. Land room blocked by hostile fort. We're probably going to get broken by rebels. This is um, interesting. Very interesting. We can actually probably accept one set of rebels' demands, but it'll be fine. Milan want peace offer. No. Why do we lose stability? Oh, it's because we're at 20 war exhaustion. I just should uh, lower our war exhaustion before saying no. Might raise our stability a little bit again, actually. That costs a lot more because of our war exhaustion. Hmm. We're also losing a lot of prestige because of our war exhaust. Uh, at this, I think. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, no, maybe we lose prestige every time we decline. Have they lost the colonial. Have they lost the, uh. Coalition war yet? Nope. They still have negative, uh, war enthusiasm. And they're still like, yeah, I, I wanna. I wanna be in this war. The only reason they wanna be in the war is because of the coalition war, uh thing there. They would peace out for very little if they didn't have that. Can our rebels uh, finish sieging that as well? That would be very nice. Only positive is we're still getting manpower. We still have an army. Rebels are still killing their troops. Okay. And we'll wait for the siege. I might make it speed 5. We can deal with speed 5. If we see them moving, we'll slow it down. Yep, we lost the stability. Fine, we'll take a new idea. We'll take uh, morale of armies 15%. Great. Definitely going to take that. We've won the siege of Numar. Can we get here yet? No. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. This is really annoying that they're just staying that tiny bit ahead of us. So we can't... We would win a fight against them and they would peace out if we can actually reach them. That's, that's the annoying thing. Is that we can't actually reach their province. So we can't actually uh, do anything there. Um, I want to raise our stability, but well, probably want to raise it after. I want to raise it before we get um, Austrian people, not before then. Right. Keep sieging really quickly. I really want to get to that province that they're in. They're just sieging right next to us, but we can't get there. Very annoying. Also, if that finishes, that gives us so much. Hmm. Diplo power for loyalty. We'll take Diplo power for loyalty. Yep, yep. I, I understand. We're going to get lots of negatives for doing this. We're also going to lose another stability. Spoilers. Spoilers. Going to lose another stability. Rebels popped up in our province, which is nice. But it also popped up in their province. Because these are not... Uh, these are actually the rebels from... Uh, these are the rebels from Brabant. These aren't our rebels. These are Brabant's rebels. I think after we take this, we're actually able to catch them, which is really nice. Oh, local defensiveness, at last, now that they've taken all of our forts. Fantastic. Um, cool. Really glad that that happened. Yes, yes, yes. 
We need to raise stability um, now-ish, probably. If it gets the negative three, then what happens is it will automatically accept the peace deal. Our country is in a bit of shambles. Deserter, eh, uh, deserter, desert. Good. We've won the Siege of Brabant. Can we, we can reach their army. At last, we've trapped them. We should be able to win this. We have more troops. We have a better general. Yes, we did it. We finally killed them. They're at 34%. Right, what, what do you want now? No, I don't want to end my overlordship over Brabant. Need to take... Need to offer... Oh, they're going to Holland. Perfect, we can stack wipe them. They're stack wiped. What do you want now? They, they won't accept anything now. That's what, that's what that's just told me. They won't accept any offer. Which is impressively bad. Um, if we siege this, do they actually have no fort sieged? I think that might be right. They also have pretty much no troops anymore. White peace. No. Okay. Where, where's my white peace offer? They're not working with me here. Can we accept one set of rebels' demands without accepting any of the others? Yeah, we could just accept that. Okay. So we need to just keep an eye on it, but we can accept it when it happens, I think. Um. Yeah, I see, I think we should just accept that now. There we are. That gets rid of a lot of our stuff, a lot of our problems. Probant, how about you go and deal with that? Can you do that for me? Aha! At last, we discovered the code of asking nicely. Oh wait, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna head down there. We're gonna wait for this army to come and kill them. Yep, twenty-one thousand Lorrainian separatists destroying the Milanese army. Aha! Don't want to peace out yet. No, they must be at twenty war exhaustion. Oh, they must be buying it down like constantly, because. They should have an insane amount of war exhaustion right now. The fact that some of these have one war exhaustion makes me think, think that they definitely bought it down. Okay. Another loan. Fantastic. Mm, uh, does that say wipe piece? Nope. That did say a different, that was a different offer though. They're, they're definitely lowering their offerings here. Like they're saying, maybe you just give us this. Maybe you just give us a little bit. Um, I'm tempted to accept this one as well. Yeah, we'll just accept the noble rebels. Th that army is about to die to the Lorrainian Separatists, uh, the death stack of them. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with them without actually releasing Lorraine, but we'll think about it. Um, We can probably afford enough loans to get a temporary army to kill them. Uh, who's our other um, subject? That would be Holland. We'll improve relations with you next. There we go. Improve relations. We should, in theory, be sieging twice as fast as Milan could possibly siege right now. So, that's my theory here with uh, us doing these two provinces. Though they actually got a huge jump. Fantastic. So we can either put 17 ducats into our treasury, filled with lots of money, which we don't have, or we can get prestige. We're going to get prestige. The reason we're going to get prestige is that it has a lot of negatives, and this will just help us uh, it'll put us a little bit ahead. I mean, what's the decay right now? It goes up by four years, so that saves us two years. Like, 17 ducats isn't that much. It's not that big a it's not that big a deal if we have 17 ducats or if we don't have 17 ducats. Okay, we're gonna get this back. Where in the, where is their war score coming from? Holland occupied gives them 16%. So once we get Holland, we actually pretty much get them down to almost zero. Well zero enough for um a white piece. 
England are supporting the independence of our um, person. Fantastic. I really hope we can get an alliance before we actually end this, like, before they declare war. That would be nice. An actual alliance. Uh, Milan have somehow managed to, even though they've been sieging for half the time, they've gotten through the walls. Um, it's crazy. Okay. White piece. Oh, they'll take it. If we can if we can get this first, they'll take it, but we're not going to get this first. They're going to cease. <sighs> I'm still not entirely sure how they managed to siege that quickly. But we're going to get down from Holland and we're, then we're going to go kill them. Maybe. If we actually manage to siege this before they siege another province of ours. I didn't think this was even going to be close, sieging this other province, but it's actually really close. There we go, 9%. White peace. It's done. We peaced out. Right, Poland? I need that alliance. You, you, you're not friendly anymore. Um, who's friendly towards us? Um, opinion, hi. Brabant, Holland. Holstein, France. France? You want alliance? No. No, you don't want alliance. Okay. Um, Poland, please. Castile? No. Um, uh, I don't know, we're kind of running out of people after that. Is there any way of checking who's just a friend? Friendly? Trier? You're not our friend. You're very much not our friend. Um, okay. Denmark? You want an alliance? Austria? Hungary? Hungary, you'll take an alliance. You're of Austria. Papal state? Nope. Will literally nobody take an alliance with us? An alliance, an alliance, my kingdom for an alliance. Aragon. Come on, Aragon. Aragon is allied to Austria. Because everybody else, like, see, when we were, um, when we were in that very, very long war, they were off getting alliances with each other. And we got none of them. Flanders, you want an alliance, right? Nope. Munster, nope. Nope. Cleves. Cleves. You'll take one, right? In three days. I'm taking whatever we can get in terms of alliances, by the way. We'll, we'll take the smallest province, the... Because they get they can get a ten-man army. Oh, we're going to have Lumen Disaster as well. What disaster is Lumen? Peasants War. It doesn't say that, actually. In here. Is there separate disasters? Oh, it's up here now. Um, stability is less than one. That's not gonna... Uh, what would stop it? Manpower is at least 50%. Um, hmm. I do want to stop that as well, the Song Yu one, which we can do. We could raise autonomy. No, we can't. We've already raised autonomy. We could try and make it a core. We'll try and make it a core. Okay. Where are our troops? Our troops are in Holland, and they can get back. Okay. I want to try and beat uh, these troops here. Their leader is very good. Mm. Oh, Br Brandenburg. We'll take it. We'll take it. Brandenburg gave us an alliance as well. We have two alliances. We're, we're looking strong. Brandenburg, who are your friends? Uh, your friends are us and Sax Lomberg. Maybe. Um, Saxe Lauenburg it is. I would like to be friends with your friend. Just do a quick improve relations. Um, they won't accept it yet. They'll accept it next month. There we go. Not improve relations. Demand unlawful territory. Excuse me, you've already demanded the unlawful territory. Decline. <sighs> right. Um... I need the Provence to give me military access. It's not going to do that. They would give us military access and we improve relations with them. Right. Um, first first things first. We'll get the saxon Larenburg uh, alliance. 25th of March? Okay. We can get that. They're not going to accept it anymore. <sighs> They're so fickle. Wait. They'll accept a royal marriage. But they won't accept an alliance. 
Why would they accept a royal marriage then? Oh, because it means we're not going to attack them? Possibly. Um, we're going to improve relations with them for a month. So that ticks. Will they give us mil They'll give us military access now. Right, stop asking to improve relations. I want your military access. <sighs> Could we go to Metz? Can we get into Metz really quickly? Perfect. They should turn on us as well. I want your military access. Thank you. This army here should run into our army. Because this is part of the Lorraine stuff that they need. They need to hold this province. So they will walk backwards into us, into Metz. Which we, we're going to start coring as well. Aha. Perfect. We're in woods and we beat the rebels. That is what we wanted to do. The rebels are gone. We can now head to this one and de-siege it. Okay. Oh, it's because we had forts. The forts were de-sieging. Good. We want to head to Songyu now. And the reason we want to head there is because we got rebels that are going to spawn now. Oh, they didn't. That would have been cool if they did, though. You would have been really impressed. Brandenburg, uh, not Brabant, are really like, we, we want to be free. There's nothing I can do to uh, persuade you. We can reduce their liberty desire by 20% at a cost of 10% of their monthly income. Well, that, put, that would only put them at 240% um, liberty desire. I mean, that's, that's nothing. Right. Rebels gonna spawn. Rebels spawned. We are in the mountains though, so we get the defensive bonus. And the rebels are gone. We have no rebel problems. We have a war exhaustion problem, but we have no rebel problems. Uh, now we're eight above our force limit, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna very, um, very nicely just pick eight people and get rid of them. I think I want to get rid of actual troops. I think I want to keep... Now you see, I would want to keep our, um, our troop troops, as in the ones that we can reinforce, but they are all zero. If we got rid of our mercenaries, we have no army. So what we need to do is we actually need to get rid of our actual troops this time. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, we'll get rid of six of those. There we go, they're gone. And then we need to get seven, eight. What about we get, well, maybe we get rid of two of these, like two mercenaries. That means our army's a little bit weaker, but we're not significantly weaker. Right, fine. Uh, I think that that's us all set. I mean, the peasant's war is a little bit of a bummer and it's probably gonna happen. Uh, we are at max relations right now. We need to get rid of the Provence one. We no longer need your military access. Right, who do we want an alliance with? Uh, Saxe Lauenburg? Those were the ones we were looking at. No. Okay, anyone in here want an alliance? I'll take an alliance. Any alliance? You got one? I'll take it. Who are Savoy's rivals? Because I know we're, we're rivals of Savoy. Switzerland, you don't want the alliance because you're outraged at us. How can you still be outraged at us? We had those huge wars. I thought that was a way of you getting rid of it. Oh, Bremen. We can ally with Bremen. Uh, where is Bremen? I actually missed them. Are they in here somewhere? Oh, so there's just a small one here. We are going to take the alliance with Bremen. And the reason we're going to do that is because that's, that's seven more troops. I mean, it's not... They're not the best ally, but... They are an ally, which is something that we are sorely missing. Right, well, we survived. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.